The Titleist Pro V1 has been known as the number one ball in golf for quite some time. So surely Costco isn't going to be better. Nice one. The Titleist Pro V1 has been known as the number one ball in golf for quite some time. They even put it on the box. But how does it compare to the Costco Kirkland Signature? Let's find out, and let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. Guys, first things first, it's only two balls, so it's really not that hard. First things first, guys, I'd like to warmly welcome you all back to the channel. I hope you're all safe, hope you're all incredibly well, and I really hope you're enjoying getting back out on the golf course. In today's video, we are testing the Kirkland Signature Ball from Costco against the number one ball in golf, potentially, the Titleist Pro V1. Does it still have its crown, or is it being beaten by a... Um, well, a, a, a one pound golf ball. You see guys, I got sent these Costco golf balls, Kirkland signature golf balls even, by a subscriber who is having lessons with Chris. Uh, Malcolm Carr, Malcolm, thank you so much for those. And Malcolm said he's had quite a lot of success with them. So we took them out on the golf course, and to be honest, I really enjoyed them. And they're very, 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 very affordable, I think is the world. I'll not, not go by saying they're cheap, because nothing's cheap in this world, is it? But they're very affordable. They're just over a pound a golf ball, as opposed to, as opposed to a Pro V1, which is like, more like 350 a ball so i asked you guys if you wanted to see a full comparison in the studio and you said yes so we're going to test gap wedge seven iron and driver for the pro v1 and the costco signature guys as you all know it is imperative to me that you guys are a part of my content and by that it means i want you to hit those comments below in today's video comment below what golf ball are you using how much does it cost and why are you using it are you using it because of the price are you using it because of the performance? Oh, actually, speaking of performance, are you using it because of the performance um, plus? Or do you just feel like you've been loyal to a brand for quite a while? So we're starting here with the Pro V1. We're hitting three gap wedges. Then we're going to hit three Costco balls. Same with the 7.9, same with the driver. I'm going to see which one performs the best. And really, there shouldn't be a kind of argument with it, really, should there? The Pro V1 should definitely perform the best but can the Costco ball keep up with it for the price is the answer. When we tested these out on the golf course, I did feel as though the Pro V1 had a little bit more in the tank regards to distance, but I really enjoyed the feel around the greens, really enjoyed the overall performance of the Costco ball, especially for the price. Right, that's three shots hit with the gap wedge with the Titleist Pro V1 ball. I would expect gap wedge to go around kind of 115, 120, more like 120 really. Pitching wedge is about kind of 135. How far is it going to go with the Kirkland Costco signature ball? I keep calling it the cost. I can't call it Kirkland, it's just signature. See, when you see Kirkland, or when you think Kirkland, you think kind of dog food, don't you? You think toilet roll. See? You just don't really think golf ball, do you? And I guess one of the big factors is, can you still get the spin with this golf ball? Can you still get the control? as well as the distance. Which one is more important to you? Is it distance? Is it control? Is it spin? Is it price? Is it price? It could be if it's price, then there's only one winner, isn't there? I've also got no idea why we keep getting these ghost shots just on wedges. Um, I will obviously delete them for the numbers. There was one on the Pro V1 as well. I must say, feel-wise, and I feel exactly the same about this as I did on the golf course, feel-wise, the Costco ball is brilliant. It feels just like it feels just like I would want a golf ball to feel. Maybe not on the side of the head though. Right, three shots hit each with the Pro V1 and the Costco ball, Kirkland I suppose you can call it because that's what it's called, with the gap wedge. Let's take it up a notch, let's go 7 iron. We're going to start with the Kirkland this time, then flip to the Pro V1, then we're going to go big dogs because that's really what you all want to see, isn't it? Right, Titleist Pro V1, Mizuno MP27 iron. I'm guessing 165 as an average, putting that one out there because that's generally what I work towards. Guys, is there going to be any difference with the Kirkland? First one, 165 carry, a little bit left, but we'll take it. Funnily enough, as I kind of go to pick these both up, the, the, the Pro V1 almost seems whiter. I don't know if that's like a different paint, but like I don't know if anyone's getting this, but the Titleist definitely seems a bit kind of whiter. The, it's more cream. 
The dimple patterns look very similar. Very, very similar. That is marking up nicely already, isn't it? I actually used to have a Costco card. Don't know why you'd care about that, but yeah. Um, cool story. Right. Seven iron again. Oh, that was a good one. One seven one. Funny because I still get that one that just spins low. I kind of maybe get a little bit too far forward on it and if we get more distance, but I do lose a bit of control maybe on it. Prefer the slightly shorter one at 6,000, 7,000 spin. Hmm. Right, time for Costco. Oh. Interestingly, has anyone ever had the pizza from Costco as well? Because they are so good. So good. The hot dogs as well, they were the ones, weren't they? And the milkshakes and the, yeah, I'm just, I need to stop talking about that really. Costco, seven iron. I mean, that's very good, very good. I'm, if it, you know, if it would be interesting, I'd like to maybe try and do one where, obviously I can't do it by myself, and as we're all social distance at the minute, very difficult to do so, but black out the golf ball so we don't know what they are, and then uh, obviously test them blind, which would be good. Oof, all right, left that face open. Interesting thing testing golf balls. I never feel like, when you're testing golf clubs, I always feel as though I can kind of differentiate, get my head in a different zone for different clubs and try and feel the club a little bit, be the club as it were, corny as that sounds. With the golf balls, it's a bit like, it's a little white thing, I'm just gonna hit it and then see how it performs. Like obviously you can't, it's pointless even looking at dispersion, isn't it? They're both round, they're both, it's me, it's down to me. I suppose you could say that about golf clubs as well, to be fair. Right, final seven iron of the test. Come on, just a nice one, six, seven maybe, I think. Oh, that's left and long. One, six, nine and not too bad actually. Now is what you've all been waiting for, I think. Right, time for the big dog. We're gonna go Titleist Pro V1 first, and I would assume I'm gonna see something along the lines of club head speed around 107 to 110, maybe a little bit higher at a push, spinning around two and a half to three, distance 275 carry, and a ball speed maybe of 155 to 160. I think, I think. Don't quote me on that. If this first shot's 275 carry now with a ball speed at 158. <laughs> 275 carry, 28 spin, club speed 105.2. Wow. I guess when you know, you just know, don't you? Right. Let's have a few more of those. A little bit high, that one. Lovely ball flights, though. I've played this morning and I was hitting lovely big high draws, to be fair. We might hit five drivers, you know, just give it because I know you want to see more drivers. I know, I know. Four left. So quite a few drives there. Bang on my number. You'll see that last one, 275 with 280 total. Anyone see the T-peg? So I think this could be the whole reason why you guys have tuned in to this video. How far does the Kirkland Costco Signature, Costco Kirkland Signature, golf ball go with my tailor-made sim. If we can get it out there at anything above 270 on average carry, I think that's a good return. Remember this golf ball costs just over a pound and you have to buy them in bulk, like your toilet roll and ketchup and all the rest of it, right. Went well on the course. Now I've nutted that one. I've really got that one good. No, not quite there, 267 carry. Although club edge speed was down a little as well, so. 272 carry, get in there. And funnily enough, club edge speed's down at midges as well. I am trying to, I'm trying to hit this just like I was the Pro V1. Interestingly, same total distance at 280 as well. Spin was down, spin was sub 2000 there, which is a beautiful, I did notice actually that when I played out there with this ball, did come out lower, it was more of a knuckleball, which is a beautiful thing for me to see, really. That wasn't good. 
Another one at 263, spinning low, spinning really low. Right, one more, one more, one more. And this is gonna be closer than potentially I thought it might be. Can we get just one nice one out there at the number, 275. 265, that felt good as well. And again, low spin, mega, mega low spin. So that, so that is a good number of shots hit with the Titleist Pro V1 and the Costco Kirkland Signature. Gap wedge, seven iron driver. Three pound 33, maybe more, four pound, just over a pound. What's the difference? Let's take a look. So I'm not gonna bother giving you the dispersion because I find it a bit pointless really, but um, driver Pro V1, 270 average. We're gonna go on the carry, carry numbers to start with. 270, Costco 268. So not, that's, that's, I mean, that's really not, that's just really not bad, is it, to be fair? I mean, there's a couple of real bad shots in there that are bringing the averages down to what they usually would be, but we're gonna keep them in because it's only fair. You can see that the Costco ball had a tiny bit more roll if you can claim that on a launch monitor. I never really understand that. Clubhead speed was up by kind of a mile an hour and a half, to be fair, on Pro V1. That's not by, that's not on purpose. That is just the kind of the way I've swung those clubs or those balls. Definitely swung the clubs. As a result, the ball speed down by two miles an hour, smash factor the same. And again, I think if, obviously, if I can put that club edge speed on the Costco ball, which I didn't manage to do for some reason, um, you're gonna see them pretty much the same. Spin rate's very interesting. Two, two spin with the Costco 3000 with the Pro V1, probably down to a couple of miss hits to be fair. Um, what about the seven irons, 170 and 169, giving you again, kind of one yard of, although the seven iron with Costco actually stopped dead, which is quite nice actually. Uh, club edge speed exactly the same with the seven iron, which is what we want and the Costco ball actually got more ball speed with the seven iron and it got a better spin rate as well at 6.5. Gap wedges, again a yard in it, and we actually had a bit of backspin on average there with the Costco ball, which is love what we did with the Pro V1 as well. More club head speed with the Costco ball, resulting in less ball speed, which is strange. Obviously the strike must have been down on average and more spin with the gap wedge and the Costco ball. So the Costco Kirkland signature ball, really, you've got to say, it's pretty good for the price. For, for, the, for the price that these, these go out at, you can tell I'm trying to get my voice out there. For the price these go out at, I think that's very, very impressive. And I'm, I'm a bit disappointed in myself, actually, that the club head speeds aren't the same. I'm gonna, gonna finish on a Costco Kirkland Signature Drive. I'm gonna try and smash it as hard as I physically can, get that club head speed up to hopefully 107, 108, and see if we can get those numbers that we were getting with the Pro V1. One of the little things which I would worry about with these balls, obviously, with the price you're paying, is the kind of QC of them. Have we got a good one here? Have we got a bad one? The covers seem to be a little bit kind of, they're not, they're not great to be fair. I dare say they're not even white at times, which isn't ideal. Um, but yeah, little things like that, which if they do bug you, would probably annoy you. Right, come on, first tee, nice drive, high draw. It's as good as I've got. See, it's as good as I've got, and I still can't get it, that's 268. Low spin again, 1700 spin that one. I'm gonna stay here until I can, I mean, it feels good off the club, but I'm just not getting the, I suppose it is minimal, isn't it? I do really want this to work, to be fair. Oh, club head speed 110 that time, and we're still not, not there. But, they're a pound. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Massive, I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, why not hit that subscribe button below. Leave us a like if you enjoyed that video. And I'll just very much look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye.